we are going to develop the Holy Fuck Wing Cutter into a challenge, um, similar to a challenge that we used to do before, which was the Man vs. Food Challenge. Uh, but instead of that, we are now making our own sauce in-house using uh, Naga chilli, so it's a lot hotter than the previous sauces. Okay, and are you still going to have 30 wings per platter? We'll still have 30 wings per platter, um, as the old challenge used to be, um, and we'll also include some spicy tequila as well, that has to be talked about after wings. Spicy tequila. We're going to include spicy tequila with every platter. Yeah. You must do the wings plus a spicy tequila while you're eating. What do you put in a spicy tequila? Uh, in a spicy tequila, we will put uh, fresh green chilies, fresh red chilies, scotch bonnets, and bird's eye chilies as well. But you're going to leave out the nasa chilies from the tequila. Uh, the naga chili itself, uh, the naga chili itself won't be in the uh, spicy tequila. I think that might just be a bit too much of an overload. It might be so. So you do have a slightly merciful side, because I was thinking that I've done some research on naga chili. Um, they're very high up the Scoville scale, about I think two million. Some of them are. Uh, there, there. So is, is thirty wings maybe a little bit sadistic? Thirty wings might be a little bit sadistic to some people, but we think if you're going to get a t-shirt that you could wear proudly around your living room, I think you have to put some effort. In. Um, will you be trying the challenge yourself? Um, I won't try the full challenge myself, I don't ever think, but I've certainly tried a couple of the wings and they are up there on the on the hot scale, definitely. Do you think you could have the hottest challenge in the whole of West London? I think we have the hottest challenge in the whole of West London. Uh, why do you decide on the Naga chili? Is it because it's the hottest one or because it has the highest intensity? I mean, there are some that are hotter, the Trinidad, Scorpion chili is a little bit spicier, but I do know that the naga chili intensifies over about a period of an hour. So I don't know if it's a lasting burn you were going for. Or... We specifically chose the naga chili because um, it does have a lasting burn. Uh, it does kind of build up and build up and build up. And when you also add the chili tequila on top of that as well, it washes the naga chili around and the naga chili reacts with whatever's in the tequila and just the burn is just super crazy. People think the tequila is going to put out the fire a little bit, but actually it kind of it makes it worse. So the naga works really well with them. Will you have buckets on standby in case people are... There are, there are buckets on standby, there are rolls of blue roll, there's sugar, there's milk, there's everything to kind of help people out. But so far, fingers crossed, we haven't had anybody be ill. Will you be supplying people with moisturising wipes for the morning after? Quite possibly. We have a fridge full of them at the back, so it's just... Okay, and um, so you, the Man vs. Food Challenge, um, how long did that run for and why did you decide to replace it with this one? Um, the Man vs. Food Challenge ran for approximately two years and I think we just wanted to kind of refresh it a little bit. The Man vs. Food Challenge was very, very good initially, but like everything, people want to look to the next big thing, so I think we wanted to kind of rebrand the rebrand it basically and kind of make it a bit more of our own, a bit more elk. Um, so, say for example, I come in, I want to do the hot one challenge, what sort of t-shirt do I get and also do you have any advice for people that want to do the challenge? Okay, um, if you come in and do our challenge here at the Elf Bar, you will obviously be in a fabulous uh, t-shirt that will say Man vs. I did the Man vs. Food Challenge at the Elf. Um, if I was to give anybody any advice to try and get through it, I think the best thing to do would just be to power through the wings as quickly as possible and save the tequila to last. People think they get halfway through the wings and think, oh, I'll get rid of the tequila, but it's the worst thing you can possibly do. The tequila just makes it ten times worse. So I would say just get in there, power through the pain, finish off with the tequila, and then ask for a very large pint of milk. Um, is, there, is there a time limit? Uh, there's no time limit as such. We wanted to set a time limit, but I think now with the hot sauce being so much hotter, I think we just give people as, as long as they need, basically. Now, I've watched on Man Mr. Screw before, and one thing that they sometimes make Adam Richmond do in the challenges he does is they make him sit like this for five minutes after the challenge. Was that something you contemplate doing after they've done the shot of tequila, they have to sit there I for think, five minutes? I think maybe we'll look into it eventually, but I think there's such a, a huge pile of wings and we don't limit it just to one person. I think if we were going to make people sit for 10 minutes after the challenge, I think it'd be a little bit unfair because there's such a large amount of wings. I think maybe a bit of movement, a bit of kind of walking around would help. And plus, because people can share, I think four people sitting around the table together, burning might not be the best night out. Know. Okay, so will they share the... Uh, they can, they can, they can share, but we'll give them a t-shirt each if they share. Oh. We are that kind of people. That's very really nice, actually. Um, I think that's pretty much everything. Unless you've got any yeah, did you, did you say when the challenge is launching? Uh, the challenge is up and running now. We're just okay. ready for people to come down and try it out. So. Okay. Um, blue cheese dip. Do you think that's an effective method of cooling? Uh, 
The Blues Chief Bib is seen as an effective method of cooling, but as far as we see it, I don't think it'll take away the burn completely. It might temporarily stop it, but it certainly won't. It certainly won't kill the burn, that's for sure. Have you seen the video on YouTube of the guy, crazy guy, he eats the very core um, pith of the uh, Naga chili? And there's a video of him on YouTube, and he basically goes into a slow, like, fetal position over an hour. Um, are you prepared, just in case anyone uh, gets a little bit too unwell? If anybody gets a little bit too unwell doing the challenge, I think we are more than prepared to take care of, take care of them. There's a hospital just up the road, and uh, we have quite a good relationship with the with the local cab firm, so I'm sure we'll be able to take care of them. Both.